is a brief tutorial on how to use the MacroStrat map interface. So if you just go up to MacroStrat map up here, it's adding all this other stuff, but this is what you'll see when you go to the URL. And it's showing you a surficial geologic map of the entire world. For the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to zoom in on North America. And let's say that we just want to see rocks of a specific age. Perhaps we're interested in rocks that are Devonian. You can just type Devonian in here, and time intervals are going to pop up. So we can just select Devonian. And now it's only showing us rocks at the surface that are Devonian in age. And it's telling us what we're filtering by. So if we click on this, we can undo the filter, and it'll go back to the full view. We can also look at certain lithologies or environments. So let's say we're interested in carbonate rocks. And there you go. Now we're just looking at carbonate rocks. What if we were interested in a combination of carbonate and Mesozoic? Now it's showing us Mesozoic and carbonate rocks. And again, if we want to go back to the full view, we need to get rid of these filters. So this is looking at surficial geology, but MacroStrat also looks, lets us look at other types of data, including columns, which is um, subsurface geology, as well as fossils, but I'm going to leave that off for now. So if we unclick bedrock and we're just looking at columns now, again, we can look for specific time intervals. And now every shaded column here is a place where somewhere within that stratigraphic column there are Devonian rocks. Let's see if we find carbonates. There we go. Now we've limited again. And what if we want to look for just marine carbonates? So under environments here, you'll see that environments right now um, are only available in the column view. So if we were to try to look at um, marine carbonates in the map view, it wouldn't work. So now we're looking at Devonian and Marine. And we can go back to Bedrock, undo Marine. And now we're looking at places where there are surficial Devonian rocks, as well as places where there are um, Devonian rocks in the subsurface. And so you can see that there's many places in North America where there are Devonian rocks beneath the surface bedrock that we don't actually see um, expressed at the surface. We can also turn on the Paleobiology Database interface. I'm just going to click off some of these other things just to make it a little simpler. So now, again, we're just seeing places where there are Devonian surface rocks as well as Devonian fossils. And if we click on one of these dots, it'll zoom us in and eventually pull up information about the fossil collection and allow us to link to it. As well, if we click on one of the geological units, it'll give us information about that surface geology unit, um, including a source that would allow us to learn more information about it. And that's a quick tutorial of how to use the MacroStrap map.